Joining us in San Diego at ATS 2014 is Dr. Richard Chanick from Massachusetts General Hospital. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. So you presented a poster on the impact of Massatentan on functional class from Seraphim. What were the primary takeaway points from that poster? Um, thank you, Tom. I, I think that the primary takeaway points was that this new therapy, Massatentan, seemed to prevent disease progression or morbidity and mortality endpoint regardless of functional class. One of the areas we're interested in is does the impact of the drug, is it affected by where patients starting out in terms of their functional limitation? And in fact, we found that the delay or prevention of a morbidity and mortality event occurred even in patients who are functional class two or functional class three. Does severity as assessed by functional class predict experiencing an event? Well, I mean, that's, that's actually a complicated question, but the short answer is that these data suggest that that is not a primary um, uh, determinant. So in other words, regardless of a patient starting out more functionally limited, class three, let's say, or class two, which is less functionally limited, it seems like there's still a reasonable chance of having an event as defined in the Seraphin trial and it seems that the active drug, Massey Tentan, did decrease the likelihood of such an event in both of those groups. What about the relationship between functional class and hospitalization? Um, again, it seems like regardless of functional class, there were still significant event rates with hospitalization as the event, and that Massey Tentan seemed to benefit both of those groups. How do you identify the right patient for Massey Tentan? I think these data really suggest that patients with symptomatic pulmonary arterial hypertension who are candidates for oral therapies, in those patients, Massey-Tentan is a, a very appropriate choice. Very good. Doctor, thanks for sharing uh, some of your insights and your time with us. My pleasure.